In this section, I want to talk to you about setting up the TV streamer because there are so many different types of TVs or home stereos, home theater systems out there. Um, it can be quite uh, complicated sometimes, especially if you're not familiar with or comfortable with setting up those types of systems. So what I'll do is try to walk you through uh, a couple of examples of what a TV will look like and the different cables you would need to use and how you would set those up. So let's just go through the contents of the TV streamer box to familiarize yourself with, uh, with all the items. This obviously is the main component, the TV streamer. And on the back side, you'll see where all the connector holes are. Uh, this is your coaxial cable connector. This is your power connector. This is your analog audio connector. And this one on the end there is your uh, digital optical cable. That you have the pairing button up here to the left, and this is your mono and stereo switch. So, first thing we'll need for the TV streamer is power, and we need to uh, connect your your power adapter with your power plug, and this part will change uh, depending on which country you live in and which one you ordered. You simply take the, um, the plug and connect that to the adapter by lining up the, the metal prongs to the little slots there in the plug. And that fits together like that. And then you have to push it in and slide it down. And you'll hear a click as that slides down. Now your, your power is ready to go. So this would plug into the wall. And then you would just plug the USB uh, cable into the, the um, adapter and into the back of the TV streamer with the USB micro port. Once you've got power, then you need to connect the TV streamer to your audio source and you would start using the um, analog audio cable, which is the one with the red and white uh, adapters that go into the audio source and the gold one, the black and gold one, that goes to the back of the TV streamer and connect that to um, the analog port here. It looks like it might fit into the coaxial uh, adapter plug here, but it's actually meant to go into this plug here. Now you're ready to set up to the TV. With most TVs, um, you're looking for the analog audio output jacks. And um, hopefully will be written in nice plain English audio out. In some cases, you'll, you'll need to look for the symbol or you need to consult with your TV user manual. In this case, the Sony TV has a, a picture, a symbol showing the arrow pointing out, which indicates that it's an audio output. So you would connect the, the red and white um, connectors to the red and white of the um, audio output jack. That's your most basic setup for the TV streamer. In some of the newer TVs, uh, the t you might find that the TV does not have an, an analog or RCA audio output jack. So you're going to look for uh, another audio output source. Oftentimes, it's a digital audio output source, which requires an optical cable. You, are, you might also find uh, a coaxial cable. But in this case, the, the optical cable, the connection is sort of a little trap door that uh, you need to push back with the, with the cable as, it, as you connect that. A digital, a digital optical um, audio cable comes with a cover that you, that you need to remove and it has a um, it, it has a directional shape to it so you need to match up the shape of the cable with the um, with the connector there which would be facing downward you can see that there's a little bit of a, a downward shape to that and you would connect the um, optical cable 
in there like that. Now you've got that connected and then you would need to also find the digital audio out input jack for the TV streamer which again has a little bit of a trap door and is pointing downward so we'll, we'll connect that in there like that and now you're all set to go. The optical cable and also the digital coaxial cable is not included in the TV streamer packaging so that's an additional purchase. In some instances, you might find that your TV does not have an, uh, an analog or RCA um, audio output jack and you would not be able to use the analog cable. So you would need to either use a digital audio coaxial cable or perhaps a uh, digital optical cable. So a digital coaxial um, audio cable looks very similar to the analog um, audio cable but a slightly different plug and it's slightly bigger. It will not fit into the analog plug. It needs to go into the uh, digital coaxial cable plug. So this is one end would plug in here and the other end would go into the TV at the coaxial connection. When you're ready to set up the audio source to the TV streamer you may need to use one of these adapters here. This adapter is the SCART adapter which is usually used with uh, set-top boxes and VCRs. You may also need to use the headphone adapter jet which is has a, a red and a white um, plug on the back on the one side there and then a single prong to go into the headphone jack on your audio source. If you need to use the headphone jack um, it, most TVs are labeled with an image of a headphones or some combination of HP, uh, sometimes they spell out headphones, so you need to find that headphone jack and that would use the uh, analog red and white cable adapter and the adapter for the headphone jack looks like that and that would simply go into the headphone jack and then connect it to the TV streamer. When you connect with a headphone adapter the TV usually cuts out the sound through the uh, external speakers so it's not recommended if you're watching with um, family or friends because they would typically not get to hear the, uh, the sound from the TV when you're watching with the headphone.